and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit and for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, I've been asked to read some channeled letters from the books that I do and these are all channeled letters between twins and their higher selves. And I've been asked to read letters 39 and also 197 so 39 and 197 so i will do that so 39 this is book one so letter 39 is this that i love you love everything about you love that you make me understand and wake up to what love really is not the fairy tale love but the true real timeless love that has lasted eons and binds us together forever the love that I never anticipated finding, or never knew existed. It's such a beautiful thing to find the essence of who I am, to find you. You are the one to set me free, to bring me all the way back to the purity and essence of our being, to bring me back to our oneness and the oneness of everything. I want you to know that I'm in awe of you. I want you to know that I cannot wait to touch you again, feel you, Stroke your hair and put your hand, my hands on your face. Your face is like the face of an angel and is etched in my eyes and in my heart forever, longing for the day to come back together, where we can be together again. Okay, so that was 39 and then 197. Our hearts are always together. There is never a second that goes by that we are separated. We are co-joined in every way. Our energy intermingles and intertwines like willow the wisp. Like a puff of smoke from a burning flame, we are one. You just need to focus on our oneness. Focus on us being together, living the life of our dreams. Be the dream. Follow your heart's calling, for it is me that is drawing you to me in everything you do. When you follow your heart, it is me pulling your chain back to me. Remember that. Never ever forget that I'm always pulling the chain around your heart. Okay, so just lovely. And 39 from book two is, you are so beautiful. You are like a wild flower in a meadow, blowing in the wind. Petals blossoming and revealing its true beauty. I see your true beauty within. I see the light in your soul, the light of love reflecting back to me. I see in your eyes the lifetimes and source of the universe, the source that we are all seeking. You are the answer to all of the big questions. You are love. When I see and think of you, I know that the power, what the power of love can do. I know that what I feel for you has shaken my world has shattered my illusions and allowed me to believe in dreams really do come true. Oh. So uh, let's look at 197 and um, it is Be the goddess that you are and then you let me shine the light on being the god goddess that I am. The more you own your inner goddess, the more I feel my inner light. So did I feel it? Yes, I did. Of course, we all did. You have to understand that we are completing an assault course. We are going over energetic walls. Together, we are raising each other's light as we are going more and more onto our love path, onto our journey of our souls. <laughs> the love path which we are all on, on this crazy love path. Who knows where it's gonna take us? So, 39. This is interesting, this is from, uh, so, so this is from, not from a twin, but this is from uh, a past loved one. So, I'm so sorry that I was so hard on you. I didn't do my lessons very well. I took everything out on you when I was upset and hurt by how I had been brought up. It should have been my opportunity to put things right. Instead, I was jealous, thinking why would you have such a great time when I didn't? It was selfish and I'm so sorry. I play it over in my, I play it over 
in my mind, but I want you to know that I love you very much. My problem was I just didn't love me. I'm sorry. I'm so proud of everything that you're doing and everything that I yet to do. So keep believing in yourself. That's so telling, that letter, because that's all about self-love, right? And the way that we lash out at people is just a reflection of the hurt that we feel inside. And so that's why this journey is everything about self-love first. Clearing all the childhood stuff. Letting go of all that pain. So, 197, the last one. I love you. I love everything about you. I always have done. From the very first second I saw you, my heart went boom. <laughs> and that was it. An explosion of love inside me went spilling out into all of my body, ran through my veins like a chemical, waking up each and every one of my cells and making me walk away thinking, what was that? What did I just experience? This isn't just any girl. This is the one. This is the girl that sets my heart and soul on fire. My true eternal flame. Oh wow, so funnily enough, I was guided to go back to this place that I met my twin today. So for the very first time. So interesting that that letter should come up. So I'm just going to read the final chapter of book three because um, it just opened at that page and it's just reminded me of what happened when I when I wrote it. So I'm going to read the final chapter of the book and it says, I love that the final letter ends on the golden egg of creation. My, my twin loves chickens and I know that one day we will have our own chickens together and we'll eat our own eggs. It makes my heart smile to know that we were created in the same egg, that we are the perfect yin and yang balance for each other. We are each other's double yoka. What better feeling is there in life? I'm finishing writing this book in the cafe that I last had a telephone conversation with my twin. I was guided to come back here to put the energy of open communication and being able to freely speak our truth into this book. When I sat down, there was a little boy and a girl on the table in front of me, sat between their mums. They were friends. When they got ready to leave, the little girl put on a green coat, green for healing hearts, and the little boy put on a blue coat, blue for opening up the throat chakra and becoming confident and speaking how we really feel. The little girl took out of her pocket a packet of love heart sweets, and the little boy's eyes lit up and he said, do you have two packs or only one? And the little girl said, only one, but I will share them with you. They walked out of the ca cafe hand in hand. It was beautiful confirmation from the universe to show that this truly is a magical love, a timeless love, a love that transcends us out of our bodies into a world of make-believe where reality becomes more beautiful than fairy tales. Thank you again for every, everyone that has so lovingly put their unconditional love energy into this book and let me share their channeled love letters from their souls, soul family and their twin soul. It really is a legacy of the movement into a collective unconditional love consciousness that I am unbelievably proud and lucky to be part of. For me, the joy in doing these letters is in being able to help people move out of fear and doubt and into the true essence of their soul and love connection. Hearing the feedback on how the letters relate to their physical situations has been mind-blowing and has taken me to a whole new level of belief for my own journey and put me up <laughs> another few rungs on the ladder of unconditional love. So, I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much you've helped me. Everyone who has come for healing and readings and for letters, Together we will win. Each and every one of you have rocked my world and continue to every day. So, you know what? Um, and as I finished the book, Somewhere Over the Rainbow started playing on the radio. And uh, so it just says right at the end of the book, it says at the end of the rainbow is your twin and a pot of gold. So it's so lovely. I you know these things that you forget and then I just saw and I remember now the little boy and the little girl in the cafe 
because it was just so sweet because it's just literally when I just finished doing the book and there they were together so all very very symbolic so that's the message for today just remember we are all mending each other's hearts and we are all opening up our throat chakras so we can all speak our truth all right, I hope that helps. If you want a healing, a reading, a channeled letter, any of the services I offer, all details are in the description box. All right, take care. Have a great day. Bye.